Manipulating objects. Objects on the stage now have a number of controls designed to help you manipulate them faster and easier. So to access these features, click on the edit object icon over here and you'll find a menu of options, including copy, paste, paste in place, arrange, arrange allows you to move an object forward, backwards, um, essentially layer them on top of one another, replace, in the case of re replace, what you can do is you can replace an object but keep its same attributes, such as its position in the timeline, with another object from the media library, flip in the event that you'd rather use the mirror image of an object, access in and out transitions so that you can give them more effects, and turn smart guides on and off. If you're not familiar with smart guides, let me show you how they work real quick. Um, we have two objects on the scene. I'm going to put these in the same spot so we can see them both. So as you start, since I have smart guides on, as you start moving the object, you can see it's aligning it to the top, center, or middle. And smart guides also work for vertical alignment with other objects, with neighboring objects. Smart guides also work with trying to place the object in the center of the stage, either on the X or Y axis.